Welcome to our three days of prayer and fasting, brothers and sisters. This crisis took us all by surprise. Some prophets have a little had a little glimpse of what would happen, but it was very vague. And this is the result, even among the Christians, there is a lot of fake news, a lot of confusion. Don't be impatient. We need time to understand what God is doing in our time. There is some fairness in this crisis. The fairness is it hits everyone the same. It is the same in, in the end for the poor and for the rich, for the mighty and for those who have the money to escape because this crisis does not allow to anybody to escape. It will reach everybody, it will challenge everybody. Nothing will be untouched in the end. Our world as we have known it will be different afterwards. The question is, have we as mankind and have we as the church learned the lessons the Lord wants us to learn through this crisis? As I said in my letter, in a sense, this crisis, even as evil, evil as it is, it is also a gift of God, a chance for us. And may we have learned what God wants us to learn. Let us, brothers and sisters, be examples to everyone and the best possible witnesses to the gospel in these times. Let us be good citizens cooperating with our governments. Let us be men and women not driven by fear, but full of confidence in God's provision. Let us be loving persons in love for our neighbors, for our friends, for the foreigners and for those who do not believe. May people experience us as those who are ready to help in every situation. And let us pray. Let us pray not only those three days we have before us, but let us pray and pray and pray more. The more we pray, the more revelation will come and the more we will understand what God is doing in these days. There is a long list of prayer requests. The list will grow as we understand more. As a final word, I want to encourage you with a Bible passage I received yesterday from a friend of mine, a prophetess, who opened my eyes to this word from the first letter of Peter, chapter 4, verses 7 to 13. Now the end of all things is near. So be self-controlled and all keep your love for one another, constant, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable, one to the other, without grumbling. As each one has received a gift, use this gift to serve one another as good stewards of the many-sided grace of God. Whoever speaks, let it be as one speaking the utterances of God. Whoever serves, let it be with the strength of God supplies. So in all things, may God be glorified and the power through his Messiah Jesus, all glory and power to him forever and ever. Loved ones, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal taking place among you to test you. As though something strange were happening to you. Instead, rejoice in so far as you share in the sufferings of the Messiah, so that at the revelation of his glory you may also rejoice and be glad. Greetings to all of you, encouragement, and have great experiences over the next three days. Amen.